I've been living in Venice for 16 years. The atmosphere that Venice has uh, creates this beautiful and impactful feeling that allows you to be stimulated and inspired as an artist to create. The process in terms of creating my works comes obviously with the idea or of a feeling and that then images conjure up from that feeling or, or an idea or a focus of a theme that I want to work on. So I then jump on the computer, look at those images and try and formulate what the composition will look like. From the images I basically start. Characters behind my work are many, from the pirate, from the boy fishing, from the explorer to Alice to the space people um, are looking at the idea of space but also of dreams, of potential, of the future. What we deeply desire, I guess, when we look at the sky and we look at space, when we think about those things, it's the, the fear of the unknown but also the beauty of the unknown the same time and I think that fear of the unknown and that fear of those those dreams and trying to take the courage to realize those dreams come out in those particular characters. The common thread that unites all of these characters is the fact that everything that they do, like everything that they work towards and everything that they're trying to say is achievable. They succeed in where they're wanting to go and I guess it's up to the viewer to believe them. The moment where I really start painting is when my subconscious takes over. I go into a trance-like state and this sort of spiritual experience where my conscious mind is not in control and that's when the magic happens. The act of painting for me is like a meditative act. It allows me to escape temporarily from my own reality. My art means to me that I'm able to connect with my inner child. So for me, personally, my works are my, my biography, they're my life story. I hope that my works can help uh, the spectator with maybe whatever they're going through in their life and um, be inspired to go home and maybe make a change, a change in their own lives. The biggest developments in my uh, artistic career was the shift from focusing on the first scene or a scene as a painting that can be viewed under natural light to then exploring the second scene and looking at viewing the work under a second light and a second experience to then the, the third shift to literally the third scene which is the absence of light and allowing the pigment to just work its magic. Conceptually, my triple scene paintings look at creating nostalgia through different kinds of engagement and the pack models, so going from parent to adult to child state. In my first scene paintings, or the real paintings, these can be viewed under natural light, and here it's about engaging the parent and adult state. The second scene can be viewed under ultraviolet light, which ignites the phosphorescent paint. Here we're presented with a mix of the first scene, as well as the second scene, which is basically the celestial background. And here it's a mix mash, encouraging your inner child. The third scene is looking at the absence of light and here we're only presented with the celestial background and just the essence of the painting incorporating all three states. So you have your parent, your adult and your child state coming together. The phosphorescent paint is the magical ingredient that I use to bring in the spectator and myself uh, to connect with the, and the child. That light, that soft light, that magical light, it's something that I feel we can all connect with. The 
feeling that I'm wanting to evoke through my work is that of magic, that of a spiritual connection, that of being able to be transported to a different reality, creating that feeling of hope, that feeling of innocence, that feeling of being able to dream big again. When I say to be transported away from reality, it means that you're unstoppable in terms of what you're wanting to achieve. Um, to not be limited by your own reality and that you walk away from seeing my work trying to change maybe at least one thing that you do in your, in your day, in your life. What I'm trying to communicate to my audience is that it's never too late to stay young and it's never too late to stop dreaming. It's never too late to give up on your dreams. At any time, in any place, you can change your perspective to fulfill your dreams and to remember what those things are and to address them. The essence of looking at the sky is not only a way of escaping your own reality, but it's an opportunity for you to create a new one. <laughs>